Damn, we have busted our asses, bro. I'm trying to live, and I would be pissed off if I fell how many floors down? Still work? You guys okay down there? No, we're not, but, you know. <laughs> I'm okay. So, what's next? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. We'll wait up here by the radio. I mean, what else can you do? Here. A lighter? A hey. lantern? That is so convenient of me to find a lantern as soon as he gave me a lighter. Like, really? That's Come on. All right, so we gotta find the generator to restore power to the radio. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. Oh Lord, have mercy. What's this? I love reading, so I'm always gonna read. So you hear me? Like there was some sort of fight, and this Charlie went to the brig. In that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. Ten-day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. Brig, 10 days approved. Yeah, I remember the guy smacked both of them across their faces. It was a big, big, tough punch. What's in here? Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between scientist X, CWO, Walter Bishop, and CWO, Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and asks for a meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing. The Western world must be protected from the United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to. Describes an investigation during a confession from a person known as Scientist X, stating that what the Americans codenamed Manu Manchurian Gold was an investigation into distributing chemicals on the battlefield. The chemicals caused violent, paranoid hallucinations. No! Bring that back! I need to finish reading! I'm a lover of reading, besides being a lover of ladies. Come on, come on. Anyways. Describes an investigation during to test the effects in human subjects of the molecule crystal structural hallucinogens, codenamed Manchurian gold, chemical mu munitions battle. It was, even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men, highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there. Even the danger was manifold and in its intensity. So, the ship's not haunted. We're just fucking high off of gas that makes us hallucinate so bad damn are you this why are you following me every single corner like i get it baby girl you're scared but i'm good like let me breathe damn brig week 27 monday arthur miller Petty theft, one day breaks small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis. Trespass, two days, brig found off limits in cargo hold 3A. 
with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday. Lewis brand public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Saturday. Charles Anderson public so intoxication. Brawling 10 days, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Yeah, there's a theme here. You got a lot of dra a lot of uh, drunken bastards on the ship. Like, Joseph Roberts, public intoxication. See this? Yo, it's like they think this is a fucking ship party. Drunk all the time while on duty. Like, bro, get yourself together. Brawl in 10 days, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. Right. So much drunks on the ship, like. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. Yeah, you tell me. Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? That's right, quiet. Ain't no back talk. All right, come on, let's go. Let me see, what's this? So, John Patterson, um, he's from Texas. He served in the armor for three years, five months. Appreciate your service, John Patterson. Mild neurosis is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. Existed prior to enlistment, no present condition, fit for service, probable future duration, temporary recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical check-in in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw a private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress and consistent with evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to elevate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Notes written by a physician on board the ship describing and diagnosing a patient's symptoms. He was diagnosed with suspected comeback stress reaction. Isn't that another um, word for PDSD? Kind of swore. Sounds like it. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and an ex exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and test for speech, reactions, memory, and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. Bendito. I feel bad for him. Wow. Jesus. Wait a minute, I'm starting to realize something. Isn't this the same place where we first was here during the first episode of the series? Holy shit, we're actually here. Yeah, and that's the guy's son. Might have been the son of someone on board. Two pops, come back soon. Oh my god, I am so sad. Poor guy. Ugh. All right, uh, I guess we can go in here. Right? Drop down? Oh, Lord. I guess. I guess we can drop down. Come take a look. Why? What is it? Look. Down there. What? What? What am I looking at? I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. 
you know, as Shit. we... No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? I know that hurts. Yeah. Fine. Come on down. I ain't dropping the, the rest of the way. <sighs> Yo. I know that hurts too. Don't you... Is it me or whenever I drop a certain way, my feet hurt? Like around the ankle area. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! What's up? You didn't fucking see that? Right. No. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Um, hello? That shit said. Yeah, I think Woo! I've actually seen clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. See, I appreciate you guys. At least you guys are so aware of what's going on. Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherland. Diesel engine number 1734, year 1920, type L87CSE. Wow, 1920. Crazy shit. You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? See, I see the gas on the floor too. Like, it's crazy. I'm just looking around, exploring to see if there's other clues to this, you know? Don't mind me. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Ooh, what's this? I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Okay. Yep, this is it, alright. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Alright, let's go. Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. <sighs> listen, listen, we're back. Can you read me? Do you hear me? Are you hearing us? Over. Please make your situation over. We've been kidnapped, all of us. And there are things trying to kill us on the ship. Over. Yes. Oh, it blew up. It blew up, of course. Damn. All right, so then let's uh, leave. Dive hey, gear. Look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. Yeah, fuck it. Not worth the risk. Because if it only has a few minutes of air, fuck it. No. I wonder what they're talking about. Yo, he's... Oh. I thought he was gonna kill him for a second. Oh, never mind, he killed him. To fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. He killed him. And the thing's right there.
What is he doing to him? I wonder why he's seeing. I messed up. I messed up completely. I'm so pissed off. Okay, second chance. Come on, second chance. There's no use hiding, you little foot. Ew, fuck you too, asshole. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around. It's what not gold, it's I gas, bro. Together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? Shit, another one. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. Oh my god, this is hard. I am the oh lord. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. Oh, thank god. Oh, another one? Come on! My my thumb hurts now. My thumb is hurting. It's slowly getting sore. Fuck! Please! Please! No more! Come on! Come on! I don't even know what he's saying at this point. I just want this to stop. Oh, my thumb! Come on! Come on. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. He didn't see us. Oh, Lord. I'm so glad they're okay. What the fuck? Okay. None of you move. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. I'm so pissed. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no, not like that. I said, no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't I don't get know. a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! <laughs> not again. It's all gone changing on me. What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Okay! Hey, there's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Don't breathe the mist? Wait, wh what is this mist? What does it do? It's... life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive! Okay, so he's hallucinating. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down. Julia, yeah. hold still, bro. I wish you said it. Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay. 
Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No! No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. No. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. But the inside. No, man. There's, there's no mist inside you. I can tell. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Damn, this is so intense. I don't even know what to do at this point. Hey! Hey now! Don't Oh he come Oh shit, he killed himself. Oh, he shit. killed himself. Just like in one of the premonitions. Grab the gun, let's go. Fuck. No, there's no bullets in a gun. He took the last bullet. <sighs> Julia, please great. be careful. That's just fucking great. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? There's 472 rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey! Is anyone hurt down there? They must have heard the gunshot. Shit. I gotta go after him, don't I? Connie! We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit! Well, what's our plan? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after them. What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. I'll be standing by with radio. Good luck down there. He didn't even try to convince him to stay. <clears throat> oh, Connie. <sighs> Oh, fuck me, bro. Are you serious? I don't want nothing happening to Connie. Conrad, wherever. Am I going the right way? No? What about... Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna go the other way then. Right? You see the mist on the floor? This is insane. Oh, man. Okay. Hello? Oh. Okay, I guess I'll drop down. Careful. <sighs> Ugh, I just hate how he's walking with no chanclas, no shoes. Like, dude, what if you get a cut on your foot? <laughs> oh, oh my God! Yo, I saw that. Please, let's let's leave. Let's fucking leave, okay? Fuck! Of course this door is closed. Fuck me! I don't even like this. Uh, 
Okay, so we know that the gas is giving out hallucinations. So whatever happens is fake and it's a hallucination. Right? Uh, to all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. <gasps> If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. A memo stating that there is a shortage, sorry, a shortage of adult caskets due to there being little left of it. One of the bodies could be transported using a child's casket. I guess it'll have to be Hawkins. Poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and the respect he deserves once we've got his body back home. We'll just have to make this work for now. Oh my god. Oh my... F that makes sense as to why there's like two or three bodies in one casket. What? Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking hate this game. God damn. How the hell big is this place? It's a, a big ass ship, bro. What do you expect? You're really gonna drop all the way down? Fuck out of here. Ew, and the nasty ass gaka water. Yo, that French guy is tweaking right now. Hey, cool out! Come on! Nobody's gonna get hurt. Oh shit! Connie! I'm backing off. Hey, it's cool, man. We're cool. Don't open that, you f oh my god, bro. I'm pissed. He's gonna open that. We can talk this out, man. We can bond over how much we hate this boat. Stupid ass. So you think that's the best solution here? Oh shit. Run! Oh, he can't even run. Hey, it's Julia. Why is Julia here? Where's Alex? Get him! Get him! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Shit. Come on, man! Oh, shit! Yo! <gasps> it's more of those gas thingies! The hallucinogens! Fuck! Get out of there! Come on! That's what I'm trying to do, bro! Come on! Come on, Con! Let's go! Do I hit him? Fuck! I should have tried him in the face at least. Get it! Come on! Leave! Hurry up! Move! Run! Please! Oh my god. The second door. Door two. Now! 
Come on, run! Run! Shit. Shit. Fuck. I'm gonna be stuck there, huh? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna be fucking stuck. Come on! Fuck! Ooh. He's dead! No! Oh my god, he's dead. Connie! She accidentally killed her own brother. Oh lord, I am so sorry. I was trying to make sure everyone survived, but I guess not. This is horrible. Rest in peace, Connie. I'm sorry, buddy. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.